What is up, bros, and welcome back. Now, I hope that you are ready to go ham with this new season update because we have everything from insane new skyscraper angles that'll literally make people rage quit to new Tachanka launcher ricochet spots, and of course, everything in between where the trick only qualifies to be in one of these videos if it'll get you free kills. Along with that, I want to also thank Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. We have the brand new battle pass that is available from December 1st to February 22nd, and it works just like how you'd expect a battle pass to work. You're going to get free gear from just playing the game or the way that i like to look at it you can get free rewards for spawn peeking with the new insane echo shield trick that you'll learn in this video if you want to see a full list of what's on the battle pass before you decide you can click the link down below in the description to see them all there's a lot of really cool new gear that you can earn but overall my favorite piece is the new weapon attachment skin called signature 621 it's the first multicolored attachment skin and you're going to be able to make some pretty cool combinations now i've been really looking forward to this episode because i recorded as many of these as i could on the test server so that i could show off the new replay system and give a whole new feel to the tricks and hopes to take it to another level so let me know what you think down below anyways let's get into the first trick to make the enemy mauled and don't forget if you have a trick that you want to submit for a chance to be in the next discord tricks episode head on over to the official coconut broad discord server and i'll see you there all right so taking a look at the new skyscraper we're going to be on this crazy long angle that goes through one wall one bookcase and two doors to slam anybody that's vaulting inside the new window that goes towards dragon from the new balcony even after attackers drone out this window there's so many angles to check and the odds of them droning you out from this distance is going to be really rare you're most likely going to be holding this angle when the site is here so the drone shouldn't even survive to get to you they're going to drone out dragon think it's clear vault inside and die the next thing they're going to do is throw their controller at the wall and it's all thanks to you and the bra fam this situation here was pretty funny where I actually killed the guy holding the diffuser earlier on the new north balcony and so I thought it was a good opportunity to hold this angle and ended up getting the pick on one more player and damaging the other two pretty good. Now moving over to the east side of skyscraper we are going to be using this random angle that's in the concrete edge above the stairs in exhibit. So far a really common defender angle is to stand on the right side of this concrete edge lean right and then shoot attackers from above and so when attackers are coming up the stairs usually they're pre-aiming there anticipating the peak so from there they're gonna get slapped by the back of your hand through this pixel gotta go now jumping over to cafe we're taking shield anchoring to another level by taking advantage of the way that shields unfold to deploy you can do this on any angle that shoots downwards like at the top of any staircase and top white here on cafe is a great spot because pushing white stairs is so common on cafe another great option is over on the catwalk on clubhouse and when you kill someone through this pixel it is sure to make the enemy call you names in chat which means that the trick is really good this next one is the obligatory 10 second trick and it's a little known fact that Nico showed me where you can actually ping a Yana clone. Now obviously you can't just stand in front of it to test it, but if you're quick peeking while in the game or here or even suspect that it's a clone, you definitely can use this in the right situations. Up next, we have the most annoying Malusi spot in Siege history. By vaulting over the edge of main stairs on Villa, you can place the wub on the lower edge and make it so high up that it cannot be meleeed. The range of this is actually insane and even on the top of the stairs it's going to go about two thirds of the way across. It's also really loud and so you can take this free kill with a C4, a pre-fire, any meme kill that you want. Now of course we got to throw in a simple parkour trick that'll make the enemy punch their monitors. So here's this really cool one that'll get you free kills on people pushing Astro. Shout out to a gaming gamer for showing me this simple yet insanely effective spot that nobody expects. Oh yeah, and another plus is you can put any gadget that you want up here. I was using bulletproof cams, but just imagine how annoying and evil I would be. Now moving on, we gotta evolve the parkour and at least include one parkour spawn peak that literally nobody is gonna expect and this one here is the perfect fit. Now that Echo has his shield back but got the nerf on the drones, we might as well sacrifice him to all the new spawn peaks that we're testing out, starting with this one where you can break the right corner of the plant, place your shield down as you see on screen and then use it to push yourself on top. From there, there's a really easy vault prompt and from there, you're good to make all the attackers that spawn on cliffside rage quit. 
Now this C4 throw is one of the craziest ones that we've ever done, but it's also one that's weirdly simple and easy to pull off. We've all been in this situation where we're getting pushed while defending throne room on theme park, and it's really common when attackers bunch up and hold angles on the doorway by dragon, and as long as you shoot out the wooden design in the opening on the floor above, you can yeet the C4 ridiculously high and you're going to take out groups of enemies really easily. Now these next ones are just a couple of quick mentions on cool things that you can do with Habana while using her after her buff. Since she can now choose to shoot between 6, 4, and 2 pellets, a couple quick tips that you should know about that you can start using instantly in your next game are that you can vertically place 6 pellets, 2 at a time, for a crouch hole like this to just literally fly right on through. This allows you to save ammo for other things such as using 2 pellets at a time on hard walls or even hatches to counter impact tricking. A second good thing to know about is that you are able to shoot sets of 4 and even 6 Habana pellets through a 2 pellet hole which will allow you to create really awkward angles that people aren't going to expect and catch them off guard when the situation presents itself. Now moving over to consulate, we got these really crazy angles that you can make on any white van actually in the game, not just consulate. And it's weird, these have been around since the beginning of time, but nearly nobody knows about. This one here is going to be on the garage of consulate, and it's one of the best because it's going to face right outside into lines of sight when people spawn on gas station. And you could even do this if you don't want to spawn peek, you use this to hold off the site once they open up the hard wall and just a lot of different options. Now, you already know I'm not the biggest fan of Tonka spawn peaks because being real, all you're doing is wasting launcher ammo with a minuscule chance of damaging attackers at best unless they're AFK, especially when you consider that the area of effect isn't too large. I am a fan of practical trick shots and you know I'm not against across the map crazy shots at all, so sticking with what I see Tachanka being useful for is entry denial and we already covered some spots in previous videos, but here's a couple more. This first one is going to be on Chalet and by using a similar tactic to the C4 throw that we did a while back, you can bounce Tachanka launcher shots off the top of the windowsill to get insanely close to the outside of the garage door. If someone is pushed up right against the wall, it's not going to reach them, but if there's a maverick that's prone or if you put an extra launcher shot out through the drone hole, it'll delay them quite a bit with a chance to kill them. The next launcher spot is this one here that can deny entry from top red. This spot on cafe already gets quite a lot of buildup and when you add in this extra layer of denial, it's going to be really annoying to attackers. Once you break the hatch, which only takes a couple shots from Tachanka's main weapon already, you can just destroy part of the wall and the angles of the shelves inside actually make the perfect angle to do like this really cool pool table trick shot that'll stop right in the doorway and deny the push. If the attacker pushes down, he does have a chance to see your feet, so just make sure that when you're pushing this position, just shoot a couple shots and then fall back and you'll be good to go. Up next are the two most insane C4 spawn kill throws that you can do on the new skyscraper that the legend Hologram Sam taught me. Both of these are great once you do a few practice throws in custom games and while they might look difficult they're actually incredibly simple and if you understand the throw mechanics and practice a little bit it makes it even easier. The first one here may not kill attackers if they immediately start repelling up but it does have the potential to kill any attackers that spawn on the side and are running to repel up on a different side or rotating below to run to the staircase. All you're doing is lining your crosshair up with the bottom of this bell and then going straight out and it's an easy toss from there. Huh? The second C4 toss is going to be actually out of that same window that we were holding that long angle onto earlier and all you're going to need to do is tear down the window, lean left and put your crosshair on the top red bell and wait about 4 or 5 seconds and from there it's all free low for you. Anyways, bra fam, that's going to wrap it up for today. Don't forget the new Neon Dawn Battle Pass runs December 1st to February 22nd. And if you want to get some free gear for just playing the game, then I got the easy access link down below for you to check it out for yourself. And make sure to check out my favorite piece, the new attachment skin called Signature 621. I'll see you all very soon in the next video. I love you all. Peace.